ladies and gentlemen. A uh, very warm welcome to this uh, session. And uh, I think a lot of uh, ideas have already been exchanged by Dr. Gauri Reid last evening. So I was just wondering what next I should be talking about. Let me see if I can do justice to this opportunity. The title of my presentation or the keynote session that is uh, converting the perception of IT from cost center to value generators. So we have a lot of discussion on this, that's why this is opportunity. And uh, we had a terrible time over the last two years, uh, a lot of recessionary trends <coughs> and uh, downturn, let down, uh, budgets shrinking, funding not available, uh, liquidity squeeze as we call that. So due to this, a lot of uh, negative effect on the economy overall. And as I say, the economic uncertainty, threats to business continuity, globalization and the multipolar world, abundance of IT. There are various uh, opinions. Somebody uh, says that, you know, uh, the session is over. I would still say that based on the sector, <coughs> meltdown is yet to come out. In our sector, for example, which is the uh, manufacturing sector and which is linked to the infrastructure ecosystem, we are still going through this uh, recessionary phase, not as deep as it was last year or the year before that. We had first seen it in perhaps uh, February 2008 onwards, when uh, others were still not aware of what is happening in the ecosystem. But we saw the pull and the push on the supply and the demand system that was there. Now, if we look at IT, we have been discussing a lot on this and uh, wondering whether IT is a uh, cost center, uh, IT is a business enabler, IT should be a strategic lever, various thoughts are there. But in fact, if you look at it, IT is a strategic lever. And how do you look at IT? The various technologies which are available, uh, we discussed cloud, we discussed the social computing output over here, and in fact, I have a very interesting presentation that I saw last year when Atul uh, showed how social networking and social computing was being leveraged by an organization. Access to people and content, user-generated content, we just had this discussion in the morning. These are some of the trends which can bring about a different flavor to the deployment of IT in an organization. For the CIOs, I would always say that uh, tough times never last, but tough people do. And uncertain times are times in which you can actually leverage the best of your resources, the best of your strength, your capabilities, and make sure that you come up on top of the things, which is what is, uh, which is why we are there also for the organization. A simple deployment of IT in an organization does not create value. The promoters or the executives of the organizations definitely look at IT then in a different perspective, which is more of a cost center. So, from where we started. Uh, it's not a value generator at all. How do we generate value? How do we create value for the ecosystem, for the stakeholders, internal as well as external? Uh, one thing which I always uh, propagate is the industrialization of IT. Not to be confused with what Dr. Kodavid said yesterday, do not look at it from the industrial era, but look at it from an industrialization era. That is, converting the way you are running your IT systems, run it like a manufacturing system. Deliver IT level business advantage, balance and manage enterprise risk. How do you do this? Simplify. They're not, they're not rocket science. It's actually very simple concepts, but when we apply them, you will immediately correlate to what we saw last evening in the opening keynote. Simplify, standardize, leverage the level arbitrage and skill pools. How do you do that? Shared services, automate. On this improvement, use things like CMMI, Six Sigma, Lean Development. If you look at the cost production levers, there are more than 100 IT cost production levers where you can minimize costs, optimize costs, you can redesign your IT systems. And we heard four phrases yesterday agile, flexible, responsive, optimized, and then one more in the morning, dynamic. So if you look at this, From the infrastructure perspective, then from the process perspective, from the application perspective, from the security perspective, and from the organizational perspective. We have these levers, you can choose any of these levers. I would suggest 
we had again had this discussion yesterday, take small steps. Then we do a small group of concept from there, have the building blocks and move step by step upwards. You can't take all hundred in the same go. Not possible. What are the challenges uh, where you can actually transform the way your organization runs, where you can actually transform the way IT is delivering value to the organization? The more with less, retention, training, reskilling of people, including yourself, identify areas of opportunity within the organization for cost reduction and value creation. Cost reduction by itself is not a big parameter on the basis of which you are going to be measured. Adopt simple practices as recommended by DPN, Pazin, etc. to generate quick wins and create visibility of IT. Establish partnership with strategic uh, vendors and service providers. We are again discussing this partnership concept. What do we mean by that? You have to actually work in a handshake mode with them and focus on co creation of the value. Create value for each other as a CI of the organization as well as for the partner. And the partner will also create value for you. Create a focused approach for corporate information security and protection of IT, GRC, infrastructure management, virtualization consolidation, IT enabling the organization to drive operational and process efficiency, and extending the value chain of enterprise applications to external stakeholders. What could be the technologies which you could deploy to generate value for your organization as well as for your stakeholders? Content management, information security, analytics, DR, open source, very good platform actually to work on, cloud, uh, human machine integration, HMI, integrating the shop floor to the top floor or the plant to sensor integration as we call that, weighting of your IT systems and I would also recommend going beyond IT towards weighting of your supply chain. Virtualization, consolidation, using, what leadership values do you need to do this yourself, to inspire others and to create the team and to take the team along with you towards value creation for the enterprise. The ability to inspire communication, operational credibility, which is very, very important. You must have the credibility to not just demonstrate once, but to do it successfully and in a complicated manner. The ability to prioritize, Dr. Reed said this yesterday, you have to prioritize your entire portfolio and then see what is going to give you good wins and good success factors. We are working for success. Credibility and flexibility, and the ability to be a fish out of water. You must try to think different, try to look in a different manner, in a kaleidoscopic manner. Once you do that, things automatically become simple, even in a complex environment. And the ability to position one's organization as a hub for talent, as a mecca for talent. So you get good people, you are able to inspire people to come and join, work with you, and that is a co-creation of a value and the ecosystem, which is going to deliver value to the organization. I'm repeating this word value again and again, but that's what it is. Consistency. Do it right once, every time, all the time. How CIOs can think about business value? Most of the organizations cannot get a true fix on the value IT adds to the business that it serves. So defining this, measuring this, and maximizing that value remains elusive. Grasping this business value from IT is challenging, and CIOs who are successful in this endeavor broaden the scope of action beyond the technical sphere and the traditional IT levels. I showed you about 100 action points which you can work on. So let's see how you can maximize this. So what I call this is generating value in news and IT generated value. You have the operational excellence in this process in the beginning of the presentation. So it's all in a synchronized flow. You have the resource policy, the security, resilience, investments, operational planning, innovation, and then transformation. And that is how this thing works. Optimizing investment value, and if you look at the operating costs versus IE spend, you have the on this side, the efficient ID executors, the high ID spenders, efficient, effective business enablers, and heavy transformers. Finding the levers where ID and the business units intersect. That's very important because once you do that, that's where you will be able to prioritize and see how to drive this operational excellence or the value creation from ID. You have, uh, again, the core business priorities. You said you must have the ability to prioritize also. And then, you look at this, process way engineering, HR support, chain management, procurement, sourcing, configuration, policies affecting security, resilience, dynamic methods for investment controls, project portfolio management, technology work, and specialized tools, program management, enterprise architecture, transformation management. Take any of these and only then you will be able to start working. Again, I'm saying you can't take the entire basket and start working on that. And say, okay, building of alliances, very, very important. One of 
the things that the CIOs can do and uh, what we have been seeing in debates and uh, panel discussions and articles also is how the CIO can create value for the organization in the IT function and outside the IT function by taking on different roles. I would definitely suggest when we said reskilling and retraining and shaping up your own career, learn different things and try to be participative and inclusive in the business of the organization. You could take on a role in human resources, you could take on a role in sales and marketing, you could take on a role in supply chain or strategy formation. You will be good in this and once you hone the skills in these areas, it is naturally going to be included for you as far as the business leadership of the organization is concerned. I just use this word IT inclusive strategy. Whenever you are designing the IT strategy of the organization, try to make it inclusive. You have a strategy planning cycle, which is an integrated mode. You have the vision, then you have the budget, framework, planning, and then the operational monitoring of the projects. Running for value creation priority, understand the business priorities, define and measure value. Most of it was what Dr. Kohli mentioned yesterday, and I was wondering, you know, it's just naturally sick nice over there. Get the basics right. You look at the benefits and challenges, the benefits for the organization, the challenges for CIOs. You have a wide palette of IT and non-IT levers. You can involve uh, in cross-functional projects, be involved in activities. Uh, we, for example, we have a cross-functional team in our organization. And this team is led by the Chief of HR, Chief of Information Systems, Strategy, Finance, Marketing, and the Chair by the Vice Chairman and Managing Director. So when we discuss how we can do operational cost reduction or streamlining of processes, last year we saved almost about 600 crores internally. And that was a very good activity that we did. Just optimizing the process. And we had plenty of time because the business was dull outside, the man was not so good. So we said, why don't we utilize this time and do internal housekeeping and cleansing up? And due to the bottom line erosion and the shrinkage of top line, which had happened in the steel sector over the last two years, we thought, let's do this improvement. And uh, well, actually, in March, the results that came out for our organization were some of the best results that we posted actually in the entire history of almost 38 years. Our founder, a later Sophie Jindal, the man who talks to machines, that's a $12 million conglomerate. Why I'm saying this is, I'll come to that actually, how we uh, leverage the information systems. It's the third largest field producer in India, for 50,000 employees. This is how the group looks like, with the group entities. Our guiding values, social responsibility, meritocracy, dynamic thinking, creativity, innovation. That's the premium actually. Respect for individual, integrity. These are the four value systems. This is our organization. There's a, India's only largest integrated stainless steel manufacturer. Vision 2010 to be amongst the top 10 stainless steel producers globally. The strategy, which is, again, if you go back six slides before what I was talking, it's a strategy that you have to evolve. Our strategy is from mind to mind, right? From the capital minds that we have to the finished products that we create, including the requirements for the prejudice in the world economy. Based on that strategy, the IT levers, the IT strategy, the IT initiatives have to be governed. So that's where the thinking comes, that's where the thought process comes. You can't think in isolation, it has to be inclusive. All the thoughts that we saw in the previous slides are reducted now over here. Our group companies, we have various lines of business, starting from the post industry to high value added finished products, coinage, red steel, and we spread across 30 locations globally. With this kind of size, with this kind of product line, with this kind of business, and the large size of the organization, you need to be flexible, agile, responsive, dynamic, be able to optimize, create value for the organization, for the enterprise. And uh, one of the things that we did over the last couple of years was creation of the knowledge portals of the organization, we call it the e library or the knowledge center where the entire digital content has been put. All these activities are done in house. You don't need expertise or it's not something very sophisticated that you find with yourself. It's again out of the box thinking. You have to like, I mean, for saying, open the shackles. Think out of the box, think innovation, and you'll be able to do it. And if you can get good people to come and work for you and be a part of your team, the results are always excellent. Open source, we deployed open source technology and that across the entire organization. Zero cost, extremely high benefits. 
Absolutely. Social engineering, uh, we are a manufacturing organization, hence the focus is not that much on uh, social networking and social engineering, but for our brand divisions in which we are actually facing the customers. There we are deploying this a lot. Uh, cost production I mentioned, we have the strategic cost production teams on which we work internally and thereby create value for the organization, for our stakeholders also. We work very closely with the customers. I personally visit the customers once a quarter, our major customers, we have about 70 customers globally. I visit the customers, understand their issues, see how we can connect our systems to them and make sure that we work as a team. HMI, we have done a lot of initiatives and uh, in fact, uh, a uh, lot of other global steel companies are now looking at us to see how we have done the HMI and how we have driven business enablement and business benefits through this process automation as we call that and interface with our enterprise file systems. Creation of a GRC framework is one very important feature. So we are again working on that, creating a risk assured framework as a part of the organization. That's just about it. Thank you very much. I want to make it crisp and shock for you, not overwhelming with facts, figures. Thank you very much.